Okay, I just wanted to do a quick comparison of uh, the different types of three-point hitches out there. Um, this is on my 318. It's a Redland Hill. I uh, actually got this brand new in a package with the 318 that I bought. Um, I did not buy this, so I'm pretty unbiased when it comes to performance. Um, it's okay. Basically, um, I'll show you a John Deere OEM hitch here in just a second. But what you've got is you've got I've got this is the load lifter from Alls Welding um, that I have that did not come with it I bought that um, so what you've got is you've got the big differences or you've got your your draft arms here they attach to the frame in the very very similar fashion um, I only have one chain on here because I lost my other chain and yeah I, I don't well I lost one of the uh, clevis pins or clevis clevises for it. Um, I just haven't put it back on there because I, I really don't need it, so to speak, right now. Um, but the big difference between the Redland Hill and the uh, OEM hitches, and I'll show you the OEM hitch here in just a second, is the Redland Hill comes with this whole uh, assembly right here, which attaches to the rock shaft. And for the OEM hitches, uh, you have... Um, Kind of a uh, the rock shaft itself is replaced. So if we actually go over and look at the OEM hitch on my parts 318, you can see kind of the differences here, um, where the whole rock shaft assembly is replaced, whereas the Redland Hill, the entire rock shaft assembly is not. And if we want to go over the lifting mechanism, we have um, you can kind of hopefully you can see in there. I can't really see the the screen will get the light out of the way because you have your lift cylinder here you have your lift control knob or your height control knob right here uh, it's just a screw that screws in and out this is attached to this rock shaft the rock shaft lifts the deck via this arm right here um, which these are actually flipped over so um, but this is the deck lift arm, and this rod lifts up that, which attaches to the rock shaft. Um, so when you pull the hydro lever to pull the lift cylinder in and out down here, you're actually moving the rock shaft, and the rock shaft is the one that's moving the uh, deck up and down. Same case for the three-point. The rock shaft, in this case, is moving the three-point up and down. Um, but the rock shaft assembly has been replaced for the OEM. I think the same thing for the Rug hitches. Um, but if you, we go back to the Redland Hill, we can see that I have not replaced the rock shaft. Um, basically, it's connected to the rock shaft. Uh, but there's these braces right here, and then um, there's a connecting point on the original rock shaft uh, bar that you can plug into. To get the rock shaft out, what you have to do is you have to take out. Um, these uh, retainers right here, and there's another spacer in there um, that you have to take out. And I'll try to go over a disassembly of that when I take that three point off of the 318 that I just showed you. So, hopefully, that's a little information on the differences and types of three points out there. Uh, if somebody has a Rug, you can, you can send it to me and I'll put it on a 318 and go over it. Or uh, if somebody wants to do their own video of it, um, that'll work too. So, uh, but you know, if you want to send me a rug for free, let me know, and I'll uh, I'll send you my address if anybody wants to. So hopefully that's a little uh, information.